Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 12-inch Marvel Legends Thor. And here is the 12 inch Marvel Legends Thor out of the case and I've got to say I'm pretty blown away by this figure. The detail in him is damn amazing. Uh, the little... I, I really like everything about this uh, design. The, uh, the the veins and the muscles, the leather wraps around his uh, wrist, the, the gauntlet around him, the belt, the way that the belt's actually movable. Um, this isn't attached to him or anything so you can move all that around. The design in the belt looks really good, the design on these little plates right there look really good, the helmet looks good, the fact that he came with a cloth cape is really awesome. Uh, his boots look really good, the hammers look good, his armor underneath here looks good, the skin tone came out great, the beard looks awesome. Uh, I'm very impressed with this figure, so great job Hasbro. This is an awesome figure. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at the accessories, then we'll take a closer look at the figure. Alright, so let's take a quick look at Thor's accessories, and then we'll take a look at the figure. Um, so Thor comes with two open fists for his hammer, so you could hold him. And it comes with that nice uh, leather wrap around his hands, bands around his hands. Uh, then he comes with his closed fist that also has the leather bands around his fists. And the detail in that's really nice. The detail in these 12 inch figures are killer. Uh, the detail alone is worth the price when they're on sale. <laughs> so next he comes with his regular hammer which uh, doesn't have the effect on it and then there's the blue hammer which has the little lightning effect coming from the bottom and then back into stone to the top. Really cool little translucent effect so I'm sure you can shine a light in there get it looking really cool. Kind of see how it shines blue on him. Then he comes with his bearded face which is really cool and it has the hair little side designs the beard, which is really cool. Then his clean cut one with the helmet, which is really detailed and I like it a lot. It has the uh, leather back casing on it. And then also for swappable things, the helmet comes off. And then you can remove the hair. You can remove the hair on both heads. So that way you have the option of having the bearded head with the helmet on the figure which, I, of course, I'm a big fan of having a beard myself, so. <clears throat> and there's a look at the clean-cut face with the hair. Alright, let's take a look at the figure. Uh, so again, I'm really impressed with this figure. Uh, the design, the costume, everything, I, I love this design. I would love this exact same thing in 6-inch scale. That would be freaking amazing. Uh, so here we have a closer look at this, the, um, the head, it uh, looks really good, the little three buttons right there, the lightning bolt design in the, in the sides, we got the feathers and the little top right there. So this does pay homage to the original design, you want to take a look at the wings right there, back of it there, Oops. and he looks pretty goofy without it on. Uh, I really love the red cape, it came out really good, um, has a really nice texture to it, uh, silk almost, um, it's 
So going down, the blue in his, uh, his shirt came out really good. The muscles came through. Uh, you can see the folds in the shirt, so that's really cool. I really love that detail. Uh, the belt is adjustable, so I'm a big fan of that. The fact that we can move that around. Uh, it doesn't hinder his articulation at all. Uh, the design is really cool. The colors match everything. It's very, very cool. Uh, the Under Armour right there is really cool. The detailing in it, the little dry brushing they did. It's really cool. Going down to his boots, I like that leather straps again on the top of it. Going down to the bottom again. And the boot design is just really cool on this figure. So, as far as the design goes, I'm really impressed with this figure. Alright, so taking a quick look at his articulation, the head could go left a good amount and right a good amount. It is hindered by his hair, but it is a soft plastic, so it is easier to get it over and everything like that. That's the first time I've seen it get caught in the cape. Uh, so as far as the arms, these are just like Marvel Legends. You got the 360 there, you have a 360 upper, upper swivel, double jointed elbows, which is killer. And then the hands are on a hinge, so this one goes up and down, and they're also swappable with the closed fists. We have the upper torso, swivel, which is really cool, and the bicep right there. There's no joint to turn it like that, but then legs, 360 by the thighs, double jointed knees, and hinge, and pivot. So the articulation is awesome on this figure. And for a quick size comparison, here he is next to the 12 inch Marvel Legends Tony Stark Iron Man. Um, looks kind of weird to me because... I know I have this Tony Stark head just sitting on the peg, but he looks a little taller than Iron uh, than Thor, which is kind of odd because Thor should be uh, about a foot taller than Iron Man than Tony Stark in the Iron Man suit. So I don't think that's pretty accurate, but they look really good next to each other. And, and really here he is next to the 12-inch Marvel Legends Target exclusive black suit Spider-Man. Uh, looks pretty good next to each other. Uh, Thor's a lot bulkier than Spider-Man, of course, so that looks really good. But again, their height is kind of on par. You can see that the shoulders, he's probably a half a foot taller than him. So those proportions look pretty good to me. It doesn't bother me as much as Iron Man and uh, Thor looks. Hold on, but so, uh, Really cool. And here is Thor next to the 14 inch Marvel Legends Hulk. Uh, I really like the way they, these two look next to each other. I really like the way all these guys look next to the, the Hulk figure. Uh, the Hulk figure is freaking amazing definitely um, but the size the size comparison next to them is is pretty accurate uh, or not accurate but it looks good there's no way they can make it accurate unless we're spending over a hundred bucks <laughs> but uh, I really like this look foot is huge next to his so that looks really good in my opinion all right guys here's a quick look at Thor with his regular face on uh, <clears throat> one little gripe about that is anytime I turn his head the hair starts to rise, so it's kind of hard to get his get him in a pose with his head to the side without the helmet or the hair popping up. Um, so that's going to be it. I uh, hope you guys liked my review. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and take a shot of him right now. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, leave a like, and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the review. Let me know what you guys think of the figure. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.